I'll give you one guess. What do you think makes me happy? Okay, that does. But another guess. Music. Music. Often I find it's British music. I want to talk about British music if we can. No, but also British music and hype. The British press, when it comes to music, they're, they're, they're kind of like teenage girls. They fall in and out of love once every three weeks. Come to think of it, they're like teenage boys that way as well. Uh, so you have to take what they say with a grain of salt. But sometimes they get it right, like the Arctic Monkeys. A year ago, they were the most talked about band in the United Kingdom. And they didn't even have a record out. Look at them all cute and stuff. People were downloading their singles like crazy, actually calling that band there the first breakout act of the internet generation, stealing an album cover from the Ramones. And actually, we got their first TV interview in Canada, the first one. But we waited, we waited until their CD came out to see what happened. Well, the CD is officially England's fastest selling debut record of all time. That is a country, okay, that is given the Stones, the Beatles, Spiritualized, Dizzy Rascal, and Oasis. And they're back in Canada this week, opening for Oasis, and it doesn't look like things are slowing down anytime soon. Here they are, my friends, the Arctic Monkeys. <laughs> Are we on now? Yeah. Are we on right now? <laughs> so yeah, I'm uh, Matt and I play drums in Arctic Monkeys. I'm Andrew, I'm mean, Itzy in band. And I play bass. I don't know. <laughs> I do, because we're good. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, because... No, we are right good. But the thing is, like, we were... We had like a like quite successful thing going before any of the so-called hype like kicked off. Like we had like we were having like sold out gigs and stuff like that before any. You're already there, just no one could Before see any media, before any media knew about us, so it was like all of a sudden, like magazines and stuff, they can't be seen to have not bigged us up and missed out on it. Otherwise, they'll look pretty stupid if we're like the next big thing. <laughs> The day after we went to number one in England, we went. We were looking at newspapers and things, and it were all, oh, thanks to the internet. And it's like we were in like the Economist magazine in England, as if we're like amazing businessmen or whatever. This is ridiculous. It's like, no, they're thanks good songs good, actually. Good song. <laughs> yeah, no. we're actually, we're actually a good band. Yeah. No, <laughs> no, I mean that was another thing that they said in newspaper. It's like why they got to number one and stuff, it was like, thanks to the internet, and they used to like, have daily internet blogs with the fans, and talk to the fans on the internet. I don't not, even know Yeah, they're not, not a blog, were yeah. <laughs> What's a blog? And like, they used to talk to the fans and encourage them to share their music. I was like, no. <laughs> There's one that, that's like, escalated to another, because the like, original one were, do you think you sound like the Libertines? Yeah. Then other one were, are you sick of being compared to the Libertines? Yeah. So it like went up a notch and then yeah. yes. That, that's <laughs> one of them and where did you name come from? Yeah, yeah. so we used so to I'm lie. I'm glad you hadn't asked that. We used to just lie about that. That was your next question. That's how we got, <laughs> one more yeah, yeah, question. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, and where'd you get, no yeah. yeah. We used to lie about that to make it more interesting, so yeah. that was alright. But we still do, but not many people ask us anymore. So it's nobody true. knows the real answer.